So we're here day number two at Derek's house. And let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what we've got done yesterday. The, uh, the pond is excavated, obviously. We've got the liner, the underlayment in. We've got the bottom row in of rocks. Backfill with gravel for stability. Um, we'll do a fish cave down on that end of the pond. That's where the water is going to come in. You can see an upper shelf like right in through there. Um, again, I repeat it on all of our videos and I don't like deep plunging waterfalls. So we've, we're going to have a shelf right there. It'll fall down about six inches and then uh, return the water. We've got our signature series 1000 skimmer here with a 5 PL pump. So what we're doing now is we're, we're working on doing the uh, upper portion of the pond here. So because this is three feet deep, we did a shelf all the way around. That way it's more stable. We didn't go with three foot boulders. We went with anywhere from uh, 10 inch to 24 inch boulders on this project. Makes the job go a little bit faster. Because the weather's turning on us a little bit and it's getting colder, you know what? We want to have a little bit of time inside the house with our families before Christmas. And uh, I don't want this project taking two to three weeks. I'm sure Derek can agree on that. It's just Derek and I right now. We're going to keep rocking in today. So watch the project and watch the magic unfold. Alright, so the pond is rocked in. All it's left to do is Derek's going to gravel this up while Zach and I go and uh, move a rock. When we come back, we will also finish carving out the rest of this stream here right up to the Biofalls filter and then start placing some of the rocks. So you know how much we like to make waterfalls. So that's where the fun comes in. We'll catch it tomorrow and we'll get all that taken care of. Alright, so we're here on day number three. Uh, as you can see, we're filling up the pond and then we're going to go work on building up the stream. And Derek's already got it carved out here. We're going to do a liner attachment, place some lights. This is really nice piece of uh, driftwood he's got here. So he's got a, a sheet effect waterfalls right here. But with this driftwood here, this section here being at the same level, He's going to try to get some water to come right through here. We'll get a little to sneak around here, but it'd be really cool to have it come right through here. Just, just a little bit. So Derek's putting in some lights. He's got a six watt light here shining across the pond. He's got another one down over here shining this way across the pond. One of the objects when you're doing lighting in a pond, you can see the house is on this side. So that'll be the main viewing area from the house. Can you imagine looking out and having an LED light shining right back in your eyes? Not a good look. Now if you put them down low and tilt them down, that's usually not a problem. So after he's gotten used to the pond and gone a couple months of seeing it, there's going to be changes that he'll want to make. Maybe add a couple lights, maybe adding a spitter. He's already talked about maybe adding a deck on this side of the pond, maybe cantilevering over with the pond. Then comes landscaping, sprucing up the backyard, things like that. It's a lot different when you're the homeowner on a project. And we're going to talk to Derek a little bit later about how this project's going for him and how it's different him being the actual homeowner versus just being the, uh, the pond builder on a site. So it's a lot different. You get a lot different perspective. I know myself that 
It's a lot different being the homeowner than it is being the pond builder. Um, having people, you know, tromp around your backyard and trash your your lawn and and things like that. And we try to take pride when we're at our when we're at our client's house, so that way we're we're not just the average contractor that's out there trashing your lawn and and running over your bushes and creating a big mess. Um, it is a dirty job what we do, but we try to be mindful of the fact that we're homeowners too. I think this project is really going to put Derek's mind in perspective of how he'll treat future homeowners. And not that it was anything bad before, it's just I think he's going to go that extra 10% knowing maybe it's just the end of the day. Hey, let's not leave that pile. Let's not leave um, a mess for the homeowners at the end of the job. Let's get it all cleaned up and uh, let's be professionals out there. Enough of me talking. It's cold out here. It's time to do some magic on these waterfalls. to show you some of the drops that we've got on the pond so this is the last drop that's going into the pond water level is going to be up a little bit higher see that little detail right over here with the water coming right through the driftwood itself now there's a lot of details that have to be done on this you can see the liner still got to be trimmed off Derek and I took a little walk into the woods. We found some of this moss, put it on a couple of the stones. Right up in here, that drop right there is 100% wood. Now that might last, it might last a year, it might last a little bit longer than that. And then you can change it up, maybe put some rocks or find a different uh, piece of wood that he wants to put in there. Now what you want to be careful with whenever you're using wood is that's wood from the from out in the forest so that could tend to uh, leach tannins into the water tannins will stain your water so added activated carbon into your um, your system that'll get rid of the tannins I think it came out really good I want to go inside and I want to ask Derek what um, get his perspective on actually building a pond for himself now versus doing a pond for uh, our customers it's you get a whole different perspective you get a whole different perspective when uh, you're doing it for yourself versus doing it for clients like the last 10% of the job is cleanup getting everything put away like at a customer's house um, all these plants that are just sitting up here out of the ground we wouldn't leave those we would actually plant them in the ground okay these were plants that came off of a, a job that Derek brought home with him and he's gonna heal them in the the ground I'm not gonna stick around and do that with him but can you imagine if that's all we did is trimmed off this liner and walked away we've got piles of rock over here extra rock over here all over here it's that last 10% we want to make sure that this job is cleaned up it's we don't want to create more work for the homeowner when we leave this whole wisteria bush that got dug out of the ground right here we don't want to leave that pile for a homeowner we want to get rid of it for them we want to grade this off so it's all nice and ready for landscaping now it is late in the season and 
not going to be able to landscape this, but he's got to look at this all winter long. So since Derek is off of work now, um, he's got time. He's got so many, so many more days left before this ground freezes. So we're going to encourage him to get as much of it done this week as possible. So that way he can sit back, enjoy the fruits of his labor and start living that lifestyle. Let us know in the comments below what you think and how this project came out. Right now, I'm gonna go in and ask Derek some questions. Uh, I'd say I definitely need to pay attention more to the detail work. And that's me saying, like, I'm not saying I don't pay attention to the detail work, but building my own pod now and like seeing how like detailed I went with everything. Like I obsessed about every single rock that went into the pond. And like, I feel like I have to, I need to go the extra mile to detail the pond. So it's like a wow factor of like, wow, they actually like went out and got moss for us and put it onto the pond like how we did with ours with well, with mine and like logs and stuff like that like i kind of want to go out into nature and find more driftwood pieces and more mosses and stuff like that so we can incorporate that into our customers ponds now i think that would be really like that's how i feel like i've mature grown yeah grown <laughs> as a pond builder of making doing that little extra 10 percent of detail work of getting all that stuff for customers i think he's hooked what do you think oh yeah i'm hooked <laughs> he's I'm hooked. definitely hooked so there you have it um we're going to show you this throughout the the next season and um let us know in the comments below how you think this pond came out so that way we can grow as artists and pond builders out here in the field and give it a thumbs up let us know make sure you subscribe share it with your friends and we'll catch you on the next job thanks for watching